Hello and welcome to Plutocracy Passengers. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about Plutocracy Passenger, the multiplayer version. So let's see what materials we've got and what we will need for Plutocracy Passengers multiplayer version. So we need two times six passenger cards, 12 passenger cards, two times for every destination, including Earth. We also need the eight favor cards, even if we're just playing with five of them each game, which we'll learn in the setup. We also need, depending on the player count and the player colors, the favor destination cards. They are on the back of the seed cards we use in the solo game. We do not need the first class passenger cards and can put them immediately back into the box. And it's time for the setup. Let's start with the basic setup and then we go to the run-in setup. For plutocracy and for plutocracy passengers as well. In the basic setup, all the planets are put on the positions with a bright star. Prices are between three and five. This is a three player setup and the markers are as you can see them and then described in the base rules. Now, for the setup for Plutocracy passengers, we have to add one passenger to every planet. So there will be a passenger who wants to go to Earth on the planet Mars, who wants to go to Jupiter on the planet Saturn, the passenger on Neptune wants to go to Uranus, and Uranus to Saturn, and Jupiter to Neptune, and the passenger on Mars, uh, on Earth wants to go to Mars. We also play with the five favors with alchemy, subsidy, hyperdrive, quantum physics and astro jump, which we will explain in a second. And for the base game setup with passengers, we have to put one space hero on each of the five favors. And now time for the random setup for plutocracy and plutocracy passengers regarding the random setup. We follow the instructions in the core rules. So we throw a dice for every planet, see on which position of its orbit it will start and how the prices are and which planet is demanding which resource. It could look like this. What do we have to do for passengers? We still have to put one passenger to every planet so we shuffle the passenger deck, the 12 normal passengers, not the six first class passengers, and put one passenger to every planet. So for Mars, a passenger who wants to go to Neptune, to Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, to Jupiter. Okay, a passenger who wants to go into Jupiter, this is not possible. So this goes to the discard pile. We draw another one to Earth. This is possible and the passenger to Earth who wants to go to Mars. We put the passenger deck back, have this card pile already. Now, the second thing we have to do is to choose arbitrarily five out of the eight possible favors and put them on the table. So this time it will be lobbyism, election fraud, astro jump, speculation and subsidy. And as a last action, we have to put one space euro on each of the favors. That's all. Now we can start with Plutocracy Passengers Multiplayer. So now for the fresh up of the Plutocracy rules. Let's see what you remember. What was it all about? Yes, about members and influence in the Plutocratic Council. How to get there? If you remember correctly, either through joining societies on Earth while fulfilling their entrance requirements or through three elections in each game, winning these on the local parliaments on the planets. How do you do that? Correct. You spend money to buy politicians for these parliaments. So money is power in the end. And that's what we want, the power. How to get money? By spending your time efficiently, traveling from one place to another, selling goods for a higher price than you have bought them previously. Time is money. How do you travel? Exactly. You spend time equal to the space you travel. So equal to the distance, 
you have to progress on the time track distance plus two for takeoff and landing. So as you remember, space is time, is money, is power. Go through the new actions, pick up passengers, discard passengers, drop off passengers, and use a favor. So, in our turn, we can do the usual. We are on Neptune, so we can buy resources, sell resources. In this example, we bought three plants. But additionally, now with passengers, we can pick up the passengers who want to go to Saturn, which is perfect because Saturn is very close by, and we have a free seat. In the multiplayer, we just have one seat available, so we can just transport one passenger at any time. We take the passenger, put it in our seat. Now we immediately have to draw a new passenger from the passenger deck. So the next passenger wants to go to Mars. If it would be a passenger who wants to go to Neptune, because we are already on Neptune, we have to redraw until it's not Neptune, but a different planet. Now we can fly, we could fly to Uranus to sell our plants, but now we can also fly to Saturn for one, two, three, four, five time units. Two, in our next move, discard this passenger, which means he has or she has reached her destination. Now she's happy, we discard the passenger and we get one of the available favors as a reward. We choose subsidy, we get the space heroes on subsidy, but now, and put it on our favor spot, now we immediately have to put one space heroes on all the other favors still available. If we cannot do this, if we cannot pay the space heroes, we cannot take the favor subsidy. Now we discard the passengers and we can go on, we can buy cell resources on Saturn and or then fly to Uranus to go on with our journey to sell the resources there. Okay, and now it's time for the most important things, the favors. So we have alchemy, where we can exchange three resources into any other or the same three resources, like this, for example, or like this. We have lobbyism, where we can buy on the planet we are on the next free available parliament seat without spending any space heroes and market with our member. Quantum physics, we can not only travel to the actual destination of Saturn, but also to a possible destination of Saturn, the one before and after its actual position. And say for us with quantum physics, Saturn is also here. We can sell by, by, uh, by members of the parliament, we can do all the actions we could normally do when we are actually on Saturn. With Astro Jump, instead of traveling, we can go directly to the asteroid or to a possible position of the asteroid. We spend zero time units, so regarding the time order, we are, have the next turn as well. With subsidy, we immediately gain eight space euros. However, we cannot use these space euros to pay for the favors. Remember taking a favor. With election fraud, we can directly put one member into the plutocratic council and now with speculation we can on the planet we are on sell the demanded resources but not sell it for the normal price but go to the stock exchange and speculate and say let's see what we could get for our three resources okay a one a four and a five so it's worse than the normal price but that's speculation and last but not least with hyperdrive we roll the dice when we get hyperdrive and then we get a reduction while flying as shown. So if we fly, for example, to Saturn, that would normally be one, two, three, four, five, six, plus two, eight time units, but we have a reduction from 11. We cannot go below zero, but we would have the possibility to fly there for zero time units. There's nothing more to say and thank you for your time, space is time. And have a great day. If you want, check out the Plutocracy Passenger solo version video. And as always, goodbye and thanks for all the fish.